Where have I been? Where have you been? Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, like over a year. And that's partially because I uh, left the studio that I was working at. Uh, I don't work there quite as much anymore, maybe a couple times a year. So going there and shooting stuff just didn't really work. And my old apartment was awful. So here I am in a new place. As you can see, I filled it with a lot of my own garbage, uh, mostly equipment and wires all over the floor. Uh, now here I am to uh, do some new things. So about a year and a half ago, I think December of 2017, I put out a video about this binaural microphone that I had uh, 3D printed, or at least the casing for a binaural microphone. So here it is, 2.0. You can see in this close-up camera here what it looks like all around. Let me just talk about why I did some of these new features on it. Uh, in the old version, this pin which has two little sockets that slip into this middle section. That was a separate piece, and I found that it broke all the time. I think it broke twice or three times on me, and I would have to print a new one, which would take a couple hours and replace it. And it was never, it never gave me the confidence. Uh, it was always, everything was relying on two little plastic pins that stuck in here. So I tried printing this entire section this section here, uh, the stick and the middle, as one piece, and that's improved the strength incredibly, so that's much better. Uh, obviously, the biggest thing you'll notice are these two discs that I've placed uh, between the ears, and that's just to get a little more separation between the right and left audio channel. It's, I guess, supposed to act like the plates of your head, just bouncing a little sound away that's coming this way so that it doesn't go into that microphone. And the third major change here is uh, we got a little hair in our ears. And that came as a suggestion from my friend Benjamin Barton, who used to record sound on a lot of my films. He uh, saw the video for the previous version and he suggested, hey, you're getting some wind in your ears, why don't you grow some hair in them? So uh, here we are with the whiskers. Uh, these whiskers are from Rycoat. They are Let's, let's take a closer look here. So it's just a little bit of uh, like dead cat fur. And what you do is it comes with these circular, I think you get 20 for 20 bucks. It's really affordable. But uh, you get these circles of double-sided tape, which I've actually cut a hole in the middle of so you can actually see the lavalier inside there sticking out and pointing out this way. So what this does is exactly what a dead cat cover would do. It uh, just gives a little wind protection and I found this has helped quite a bit. Uh, it does add another 20 bucks to the cost of making this. Still much cheaper than the 3DIO, 3DO, uh, $500-ish binaural mic. Inside I've got the same Polson OLM20 dual lavalier microphone, so sound quality is not going to change. That's, I think, around $80, something like that. Um, I have seen dual lavaliers now as low as $35 Canadian. Maybe they're good. I don't know. I'm actually curious. I'm going to be printing one of these for one of my friends, and I might actually give it a try with a $35 mic to see how that goes, if it's that big a difference. The last change I want to talk about, this is something I just really made last minute. Uh, if you download the files and get it printed either on Thingiverse or print it yourself at home, there is a hot or cold shoe to 3 8 mount that is included in the files that you can print. I've been using those on and off as I've been testing this in the microphone out. Um, the other day though, I was just, I was walking around with the camera, sort of this hanging below it, and I just knocked it into something and that busted. Um, and in the end, you're putting all this weight, which is, I mean, it's not like a, it's maybe a pound. Um, you're putting all this weight on a little plastic screw that's not 100% filled. So. If you can, just grab one of these. This is a cold shoe to 3 8 mount. Um, five or six bucks. I think Fot this is a Fotka, I believe. How does it sound? Well, here are some tests. I definitely think it's an improvement over my previous version.
so there you go. Obviously, if you had a different dual lavalier, you might have a different sound. I think it sounds pretty good. I mean, I don't think it's ever going to sound like a super professional high-end model, but uh, I'm happy with it. What I've been using it for, actually, I've been recording a lot of um, Foley for a short film that I did, and just to get some sort of stereo effect, I'm placing this in relation to me, where the camera would have been to the action, and sort of like, uh, there's one thing where I was crumpling a box, so I had it over here where the camera was, and just crumpling the box and getting that kind of sound. Or going into the streets and recording cars passing by to get the sound as one of the actors sits and has cars pass by her. I think it works pretty good for that. Um, it's definitely more interesting than using a mono mic, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. Next time, I'm going to be 3D printing a nose so you can smell your footage. <laughs>